All right, now working further in long-term financial planning, we're actually going to understand how many fixed assets are required if we want to achieve a certain level of growth or a certain level of sales within a company. Um, moving forward from the previous example, this question says, for the company in the previous problem, suppose fixed assets are 310,000 and sales are projected to grow to 620,000. Now, why is this important? Well, if we look at the last question, we'd already calculated the maximum capacity sales at the current level of assets is 566,667. This means that if our new targeted growth is at 620,000, then of course we need new assets. And if our fixed assets are at 310,000, now we need to understand how much in new fixed assets are required to support this growth in sales. And so to find the new level of fixed assets, what we first need to do is we need to find the current percentage of fixed assets to full capacity sales. So we're gonna be calculating fixed assets to full capacity sales. Our fixed assets are 310,000, and our full capacity sales, which we'd calculated in the previous um, in the previous question, just one moment, let's scroll back up there, 566,667. So that's 566,667. All right. Now, plugging that into a calculator, we get 310,000 divided by 566,667. So that gives us a ratio of 0 0.5470, 5470. Next, what we want to do is we want to calculate the total dollar amount of fixed assets needed at the new sales figure. So at the new sales figure, we're going to take this capacity that we have determined right now. And so the total fixed assets that we're going to need is going to equal to this capacity that we have determined at 0, 5, 0, 5, so 0.5470, and we're going to multiply this by the amount of sales that we want to see, that's $620,000. All right, putting that into our calculator, so that's 0 0.5470 multiplied by $620,000, and we get 339140 okay. Now, once we have this particular number, this means that these are the total dollar amount of fixed assets that we need at the new sales figure. And what do we want to compare this to? We want to compare this to the number that we currently have, okay? So to calculate the new fixed assets necessary, it's going to be the total fixed assets at the new sales figure. So that's going to be 339,140. This is the amount of assets that we need in order to achieve the $620,000 in sales. And we're going to deduct from it our current level of fixed assets. That's $310,000. And so that's going to give you $29,140. So this means that we need new fixed assets worth $29,140 in order to support the growth in sales to achieve $620,000 in projected sales. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please comment below. Thank you.